and chose instead to cut jobs and to see their economy go into contraction. So there were options, there were choices made. There was a choice not to see progressive taxes go back up to where they could be, at least where they were in 2007, if not above. There's no reason why fairness couldn't be reinstated in the income tax structures in this province. Corporate income taxes could have been higher. Apartment tax wasn't done, and it could easily have been. Most other jurisdictions in Canada are already doing it. It's a great opportunity for Newfoundland and Labrador to make sure that companies aren't getting off the hook. What they did instead was tax individuals with a fuel tax instead of tax tapping companies with a carbon tax. Again, letting the corporations and the wealthy off the hook. Reinstate jobs and programs and build a jobs economy. This province has got options for a strong economy, a strong future. A future where folks like Alex want to stay, see a future for themselves. There's no reason to be eliminating the, the grants program. Alberta maintains tuition freeze and maintains spending in post-secondary. Alberta maintains spending on infrastructure. So if you've got a government that cares about the citizens and wants to see a strong future, then you would have a government that focused on youth retention, focused on building that demographic that's needed to balance the aging population, and focused on building local jobs with people who are investing locally in their own economy. And that was a choice they didn't make, but we hope to see them make in the future.